Hi friends, this is Salomi from Artibits. Today I'm going to talk about 2D design and I'm going to make a 2D design in front of you. 2D design is basically a two-dimensional design. Two-dimensional design could be like uh, on the design for a dress, design for a bed sheet, design for a sari, design for a curtain, anything. A design which is just two-dimensional. That's basically a 2D design. So today to start with, I am going to do a 2D design in a flower pot. Now 2D design could also be done in a semicircle, a rectangle, a triangle, like it could be anyhow, a flower pot, a lamp, etc, etc. So today to start off with, we are going to do on a flower pot. Now I am going to draw a very basic flower pot. Here I don't need uh, anything from outside. I have a crayon box, I have a few sketch pens, I have a few paints. Um, and I have a brush pen. So I'm going to work with the material what I have at home. Let's start with our 2D design. So since I'm making a flower pot, I am going to start with a an oval to go with, a sleeping oval. After that, I am making a slanting line going down, another slanting line going down, now flower pot could be of any shape, any design. Uh, I'm going to stick to a very basic one. I'm just going to take an, a big bump out. Another one from the other end. Trying to make it a little more symmetrical. Sticking to a very basic form of flower pot. Here in the 2D design, I am going to fit in uh, one butterfly. One, sorry, two flowers, uh, maybe one, one bird, and two curvy lines. Here, this is what I am going to fit in. You all can change this. You all can do accordingly, whatever it is. There's no restriction again, but this this flower pot I'm going to do with these objects. So I am just placing the curvy line like this. They can go anyhow, like I said. Then I am making a flower, which again I'm not making a full flower. You can go with half a flower. You can go with three foot of a flower, there are no restrictions as I said. After that, I am going to add a butterfly again, which is again just adding half a butterfly like this, just one wing, just adding a few sleeping lines to go with. So I'm done with this, I'm done with this, I'm done with this, and now a birdie. Maybe um, I'll add a birdie here. Now the main thing in 2D design is you need to you need to overlap. The more you overlap, the more interesting your design becomes. A two-dimensional design is a design which you find on a bed sheet, on a table top, uh, on a dress, like all those designs are called 2D designs, or which, which don't have a dimension, which are flat. That's called a 2D design. So I think I, I'll give it a short word. And now I'm going to trace this. Again here, like I said, you all can use anything, no restrictions. I'm going to trace it because I'm going to use a combination of crayons because after crayons, you cannot trace uh, with a sketch pen. If you need to crayon it before. This is a brush pen which I'm using. I'm just tracing it to get a super border. Give me an option. You all can use whatever. This brush pen used like this will give you a thick thin line. 
it will again give you a variation in your work. So the call is entirely yours. It can go as thin as this. It could go as thick as this. Maybe more thicker. Again, see, this is how I'm very thick, can thin. It all depends upon the pressure you use. So the lighter you go, the gentler you go, and you get a thinner design. And that's how you go. Again, circle, the flower, the butterfly, the neck. The funda here is trying not to make it too complicated. Not too much overlapping and not too far away. Too much overlapping will also make it look very uh, hot spot. And everything scattered is also jump. Everything scattered is also not going to give uh, with the look of the 2D design. And again, tracing the border of the rays to get the same thickness. I'm almost done with you. So here my 2D design is ready. I, as of now, I'm not going to add the flowers on the top. Now here, you could use paint, you could use crayons, you could do doodling, anything. I am picking up painted shade, a pinkish red shade. And so slightly applying I could do the same thing with the brush pen as well. I could do the same thing with the crayons as well. Try and go in one direction, maintain the direction as in the scope that's what I'm trying to be talking about. So that it is even. Whatever paints available would do. Watercolors, you can do this with poster colors, you can do this with acrylic. Uh, it's again entirely your Or you can do a complete mixed media. After the paint, I'm going to use crayon and then I am maybe going to do a little bit of shading along with those. So I'm taking the shade of yellow as right it now. To go with. I'm taking with orange. Starting with the orange here at the base, then taking the yellow, that is the deep yellow, or usually everyone says like it's the mango yellow, whatever, and the chrome yellow to go with. You could use any, any shade here, there are, like I said, no restrictions, no restrictions on the color scheme. We can go by a color scheme for the entirely, entire process. Like that is like using one particular color scheme. But for that, I'll have to ping in and message you about the color schemes. I don't know whether all of you all are aware about the particular color scheme. So hence, here I am not involving the color scheme, and I'm just going by like any color. Otherwise, the design looks more prettier when used. Um, with the particular color scheme, there are like about three main color schemes, and then you still have a few uh, like this. Add a little orange, then a little yellow again. Again, see what I'm doing? I'm just blending in. I'm just taking the color inside and out so that it blends with the previous shade. Again, repeating the process, taking the color inside the deeper yellow, and then again finishing it. So that's one thing. Again, I am planning to use the. Um, maybe I'm doing doodling, so here I can just add the. Uh, maybe it's added to hybrid. I don't want to color that. I just want to highlight that. Image. 
there's always something like a golden point in the center. You can always highlight one point and give it like a golden point with like a you know, the focus point. That's called the golden point. Wherein something like you can do any design, any design, no restrictions at all, like I said previously. I want to do a mosaic kind of a thing, okay? I take a focus and I am doing a mosaic. Now this is, I'm using triangle here. So this is how I go about, after the line, try and go parallel and then just go on adding triangle. The shape and the size of the triangle is can vary. There is no restriction again. The funda is to fill in the space, an equal amount of space, and that will only be possible if you go parallel. Like, if you guys can just see what I'm trying to do. The triangle can go anyhow. You can go small, you can go thin, you can, you can make uh, tiny ones, you can go gradually, like from big to small, like I said entirely your design, your concept, no restrictions. You can color these, you can leave these white, you can color the background. Again, the color is inside. Coloring the background, not going inside the triangle. He's covering the background, the background outside the triangle. This is what I am doing. You all can color the triangle and leave the background white as well. You can color the background and leave uh, color the triangles as well. There are a lot of probabilities. Whatever suits you, whatever appeals to you. Could use a color pencil base below and then go above with uh, crayons as well. Or um, again on the paint, like I have painted this area, and above that also I can make some design with a sketch pen or a brush or a crayon. So again, something like this, and uh, I am again going to. A little bit of red. Maybe blend it with a little shopping thing. And to finish off with the background, uh, I can again use like basic coloring method, or I can use a paint. I think we stick to I think we stick to coloring. So you can again give like a flat color look, one color look, or you can give gradation look, like you can give a texture look. Just maintain the direction. Before I'm done with this, now one thing what I forgot to tell you all mention about is like Puri design may after the line the color has to change. That is one of the most important things to be designed. You cannot repeat the same shade. As in I cannot repeat the pink here and I cannot repeat the yellow here as well. Yes, but I could use a green there. I could use any other shade, but I could not I cannot use these two shades. That's the main basic funda of PD design that the color changes after the line. After the line, the color changes is the main thing what you keep in mind while doing your PD design. Any line, any line whatsoever. So here I'm done purple, I cannot do the purple here, I cannot repeat the purple here. Yes, I can repeat the purple here. I can do the purple here, yes. But I cannot do it here. 
Similarly, I cannot do the blue here because there is only one line which is connecting. So after the line, the color changes. So I cannot do it here. I hope you guys are understanding. I hope you guys are following. See, I can repeat the yellow here. And I'm trying and balancing the yellow here with this. You can do that. The same way, I'll try and balance the orange here. I could do the same process here. Or maybe I can add a little orange here also. Alternately, because again, after the line, the color changes. We don't keep that in mind. Um, I can use another shade of blue again, but try not to do and try not to go closer to uh, the same shade again and again. It becomes a little tricky later on. So I think I'll blend this uh, blue. So that I'm balancing the blue there. And uh, I will. I think I'll take the brush pen again and I'll try and make a uh, let's go with a few dots again random dots anywhere try to just focus on making them uh, equal but need not be in the same line or or what else you can break the channel adding another another small dot or something with another color or you can always add another shade or just if you want to break it. So the mosaic is entirely your design or the, the, that's called doodling basically. So that's again your choice. This is giving you all a brief and idea. Try not to copy guys. Everyone has a creative mind. Everyone. Let's put our mind on. I could do some that line here. I could do some lines here as well. The same way, I would like to use a little green on this end. I'll just add a few check planting check. I'm not going to color them, I'm just going to leave that open. I could just color this area of the green here, the deep green. Just try and almost done, guys. Almost done. Just give me two more minutes, and I think I'll be done. Just trying to do this and finishing it so that you all get a better idea. I can again use the yellow here. Again use the deep yellow here. I can again use it here. I can again use it here. And maybe I finish this with the thing. Here we go. That's, uh, that's about Sudi design on a very, very simple thing, including butterfly, flower, uh, uh, a birdie to uh, curvy lines. And again, like what I said, the most important thing to Sudi design, uh, after the line, the color changes. Anything, any proportion, any size is okay. Hi guys, I hope you like this video. I'm sure now you all will be able to make a 2D design by yourself. If you all still have any queries or doubts, please feel free to uh, write in the comment section below. I'll answer all your queries there. Please, please, please guys share this video. Thank you so much.